Can you convert a vertical shaft lawnmower engine to run like a horizontal shaft engine? Well, the big problem is when these lawnmower engines are turned on their side like this, all the oil rushes to the bottom and the piston rings and the camshaft and all the moving parts on the inside don't see much of the oil because they're not engineered to run that way and they smoke themselves out in very little time. Also the carburetor isn't designed to run on the side and the engine won't even start to begin with. A lot of people ask the question because they probably want to use their lawnmower engines for a go-kart or for something, a mini bike, and it's probably just easier to find these little lawnmower engines than it is to run across a rototiller or something. Now I'm going to try and make this motor run on its side by modifying it. I don't know if anyone's ever tried this before, but I figured it's just an old engine I have laying around in the shop, and it's got a crack on the bottom which I can't fix, so I might as well give it a shot, see what I could do with it. Now, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this carburetor so I can turn it 90 degrees so it'll run upright. Now, it's also a carb in a fuel tank, so we could just turn the whole assembly because right here, there's actually a tube that goes all the way across the motor and enters on this side. I'll show it to you once I get this blower housing off. But that's going to be the first step, removing these three half-inch bolts, and there's one here, too, on the inside, right there. And there's a 7 16th inch bolt right here. I'm going to take all three of those off, and I'm going to rotate this whole assembly. Okay, this whole plate on the top should come off. Alright, take off all the governor stuff, throttle, put that aside, and it should pop off. Fuel tank and your carburetor. There's the tube that runs all the way across the intake valve, and here's your crankcase ventilation. This is for your governor, which we may remove. All right, it looks like I'm going to have to remove this tube and maybe reroute it in a different way because when I go to put this tank on, it contacts. So I'm just going to have to take this whole blower housing off and remove the tube from the outside because it's just on threads. Um, this I'm going to have to reroute that around the engine somehow so it would still get crankcase ventilation. This should fit just like that. Let's see if it clears the blower housing. Well, it doesn't quite fit because this blower housing here is actually contacting the square bottom of this gas tank, so I'm going to have to crush that in somehow. I could only just find a hammer around this. Make sure you don't puncture the fuel tank while doing this. Okay, with that done in the most haphazard way, it actually fits rather nice. It just fits right up in there. The carburetor should run in this position. Unfortunately, we're not going to have uh, governor control anymore, but seeing that this is going to be on a motorbike or a go-kart of some kind, you won't need them anyway. Alright, I figured out a way to put this on. Using the existing boss that's right here, I can drill a hole in this sheet metal blower housing, then use the existing screw and the spacer, and then just put a bolt on the other side and tighten the whole deal. And that should take some of this give out of there. Okay, it's good. Now I just gotta figure out how to keep this end from moving. Alright, so if I think this piece of sheet metal should be enough, we can just trim this here and then fasten it to the cylinder head and 
use this boss back here and screw it back there. She'll hold pretty well for now. Alright, that's on. This holds the carb actually pretty well. Once the bolts on the top and the side of the blower housing are on, it shouldn't move much at all. Excellent. I guess the next step it would be is to take the bolts off the bottom cover and remove it. So that way we can get inside and figure out a way to keep the oil on the inside moving so that all the moving parts stay lubricated. Alright, this is what's inside your engine. Vertical shaft mowers, like this lawnmower motor, have this gear-driven oil slinger, which spins around and flings the oil on the inside and keeps it lubricated. Considering that we're going to make this a horizontal shaft motor, we're probably not going to need it anymore. Mm. Take out the camshaft. Put that over here. Got the tab is. Alright. This next step is going to be to attach something like production made horizontal shaft motors to the bottom of this connecting rod which will dip all the way down to the bottom of the engine here and pick up oil and fling it around the inside of the engine so everything stays, uh, stays lubricated. I'm thinking another piece of sheet metal if I can find one. Alright, got one. Now what I'm going to do is just cut a hole in the top of this and then measure the minimum distance so that when this is at the bottom of its stroke it doesn't knock out the bottom of the cylinder, I mean the engine block. And I'm also going to rotate the entire crankshaft one revolution and make sure it doesn't strike anything else. Also I'm going to have the camshaft and the tappets and everything else in there to make sure it doesn't hit any of the other parts as it's rotating. All right got it in. You do one turn of the crankshaft, you have the flywheel, you see that it comes close to the bottom but it doesn't touch and it goes all the way up without contacting anything on the outside of the engine block. Now, I just need to make sure it doesn't touch the camshaft and put that in next. Alright, the camshaft is in. I made sure that the two little dots lined up and the engine is timed. And if I just zoom in a little bit, you see that everything on the inside looks pretty good and there's no contact. The engine is rotating in the correct way, so this should theoretically work pretty good. I hope the carb is not too dirty, otherwise I'll have to clean it out. Alright, now we just got to put this back cover back on. Make sure the gasket between the two is still good, which it looked like it was. Put that on. Make sure the dowels line up. Put a friendly tap. Start putting the bolts back on. Alright, back cover is on. I made sure the gasket was in good condition before I put it together. I also made sure the new paddle we put in is torqued down. And uh, I guess the next step, which I've been kind of putting off, is to figure out how I'm going to get crankcase ventilation from here to our new carburetor on the other side. Now, my idea is to cut this and put a flexible hose it goes under the flywheel and comes out on this side and then it's going to look real sloppy but it's going to loop around and it will go into this which fits onto the carburetor. Let's start working on that now. Alright and there she is. I took a piece of flexible rubber tubing and I ran it under the gas tank and hooked it up to the positive crankcase ventilation on this side over here. So that way, the choke will still work when it's running because that runs off the PCV fumes. Alright, all we gotta do is just add a little bit of oil and make sure that there's some good fuel in here and try and give her a start in a few minutes. Alright, well, everything's done. There's fuel in the tank. Uh, carbs all cleaned out and uh, just for the sake of making things easier, I've mounted it to an engine stand to make a uh, 
starting it and operating a camera and revving it up a bit easier. Now we'll see if it starts up. Well, she's been running for about a good 10 minutes with a good red line every once in a while, and she runs good. She doesn't seize up or still cranks, spark, compression, everything. So I'm going to assume the oil is keeping everything moving on the inside. Uh, so I guess that answers the question, can you convert a vertical shaft mower engine into a horizontal shaft engine for a go-kart or something? Yes, it can be done. Now, if you want to make the shaft size so it matches a horizontal shaft engine, you're going to need a lathe or something, which I could do, but I really don't want to. So I guess, yeah, it's totally possible.